Hi everyone, Proton Jim here, and welcome back to Xenonauts 2. We're going to do an induction mission. We'll try and do it so the start of the episode will be in a mission. I'll just like to see how that well that goes. <coughs> I was moaning literally last time about the uh, amount of uh, the type of missions we have. Generally, in a game like that, like the old XCOM, you have a lot of. Uh, A lot of crash uh, UFOs as a mission. So it's nice to have something different. But I will say I don't like these missions purely because you are literally forced to constantly move forward all the time. Constantly running, constantly moving to get to the pods. We've only got seven turns left, which can put you in predicaments that are not very nice. Nice shot. So we'll just have to see how things go. Great, something over there. Can we get him? Yes, we can. Or maybe. Not sure. No. But we have opened the area. Which can be annoying. Oh. But that does give me the opportunity to... Um, have a shot. 14%. I just want to be able to move, so... One damage. Not great. This is what I mean, you end up just literally focusing on one enemy which can end up ruining you. Can we get another hit? Nice. When we take him out that quickly, that does help. We do have another one, but it's going to be quite far. It's not a bad chance. Aim shot. Hairbush. Hitting his bush. So I do need to try and get a throw in there. Hopefully it should kill him. Yes. That looks a bit nasty there. We are in night time as well, so it does make this line of sight a bit hard. Doesn't seem to be anything there, but you never know. Attack from the other angle. Exactly why I want you to attack from the other angle. And we get to see aliens. Two of them. Hiding here. Actually, hopefully we had to deal with them next turn. Oh, there's one right there. That's what I mean. They just literally come out of the woodworks. No tons of people getting hit because I couldn't see where they were. Because you do have to rush. Luckily he can heal himself. But still time units wasted. Need more damage. Nice. Can't shoot from there. Bit of a shame. Was 
supply over there, literally the light source. Great. I'll have to run back. He doesn't seem like he's near an enemy. But still... In a dangerous area. I mean, I've got to try and find where these things are. Luckily, he didn't take a damage. Let me suppress from here. I think that's close enough. Hopefully, it's hits. That doesn't help me one incy tiny bit. Not the best percentage shot. Try and get more. Try and get closer just so we can suppress. Does that make things a lot easier on me? They're the main ones. What I mean, I've only captured one. So it does put me in a predicament. I'm too busy focusing on these aliens to move towards the capsules. Which is not always great. Jesus Christ, it's hit from anywhere, doesn't he? Have you got anything in this backpack? No. So he's in the middle of nowhere. Doesn't really help me. Hopefully this hits. Yes. He's got a mid kit, so I'm really going to get him over there. I move as close as close as I can because there's a pod there and a pod there. At least that's two, that'll be three numb. So I get mine cars is nasty. He has panicked. Great. So really I do need to suppress him before I move. Because then I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I stopped the bleeding. I've still got an alien to deal with now. I need to get enough timing so I could throw two grenades at once. That's what I need. See, that's not going to be enough. I do have a sniper though.
I'll try and get so that, that bush is not in the way. There, that would be a perfect shot, surely. 91 on a miss. Oh my god. He's there. I need to suppress him. Not the best chance of a hit. And then we got. Oh my god, there's like two there. What is this? <coughs> Luckily, I can damage one of them. But that'd be only one. Oh, it's so high, though. You get some stun in there. It's still quite bad. Hide again, but this is what I mean. It's like wasted my time. Let's decloak him, take some health out. But then I can't move back here. And then we've got this guy. I need 31 to 30. Maybe I can run away here. Yes. Grenades are doing the job at the minute, but I've got a lot of people clustered around here at the minute. It's just not helping. Got four turns, and I only get four capsules done. We're running, and that's why we've got to be careful. Yeah, damn. Not even a chance in hell of hitting that. I mean, you might be able to. Doesn't even have any grenades, damn. This guy. Oh, you can throw from there, let's hope. Give me a good one. Nice, that's a good hit. Oof. Can you hit from there, please? Wonderful. Brains are literally saving my booty here. Moving forward, need to get more area is clear I can hear the noises here so it means it's got to be some around here enough to hit him.
a cover. He smashed through the window, so I know that. These bad boys. He's closer, so I want to suppress. Go to one. <coughs> But he's still in a bad position. We need him to come down because he's got grenades. We need him to start throwing some grenades. Cause we need to get that one quickly. Want to move? We'll move there. Move slightly closer up. We have to do next turn. God, these are being a pain. I oh, see one now. Oh, there's one behind us as well. One has the high advantage. We take the roof off. Did damage, but we didn't take the roof. He can't shoot from there. to get shot of. It's like such an uh, annoying place. Right, he's there. For a stun, or can we? No. A bit of damage. Make a run for it. Now, he's over there. He's a shot. Can he get it off? What is seven or hoping now? Oh, I took the bush. Right. Not really. He 
You don't see that, but you don't get a shawl. Because of the trees. the human we've done that at least we've got three more turns this, this alien just seems so annoying can I at least smoke the area so at least that way Gives me some cover. While I'm in. Because that is quite annoying in the position. Oh god. You save these civilians and they get killed anyway. Hundred percent cool. Nice. Can't do anything from there. Come to the window. We got him. Can we get to that? No. What about DJ? No. So at least we're ready to get that to next term. Annoying freaking alien up there that we can't do anything about. More light, maybe that could help. Oh, nice, a shot. Don't know why he's down, but. Did he take a hit? I'm not even sure. Nice, we managed to get that out of the way. There is an alien around here somewhere. I can't even see him. Suppressed. We can't do too much. Maybe we can give next turn. He's not suppressed, so I might have to suppress him first. Because I know that 
Yeah, but if we miss, he'll probably end up shooting us. We'll take the risk. Yes. There are ten pods, but I'm not sure if we're going to get all ten. As in, this is the, literally the last turn remaining. I mean, it's seven. That's quite good. I'm not sure how many aliens there are. So probably over here by the looks of it, which I probably won't be able to get to. But hey, it's not bad, I thought. Only two missing. I think all the aliens are dead, but you never know. Oh. I bet that t tells me no, they're not all dead. My men are over here. Right, next turn. A lot of them getting the old ten missions. More accuracy, more time units, great. Local survive zero, even though you're rescuing people. Kinda of makes it a bit silly. But yeah, it's not a bad mission. Something different from normal crash sites, but I say the time part is a bit annoying. I wish they did more to it, like if it didn't just end. You would uh the aliens at least leave or something like that. It is what it is. Let's see what we get out of it. I don't think we get too much, but really Abel's hat. <laughs> We've got more soldiers now. We do need some more armor. We can guardian armor. Takes five days. The problem with this, it seems like you get to do five days, you have to wait, it's not like they run down at time, so you have to wait for these ones to be done before it moves to the next one. Where at least the old style UFO used to have like a certain amount of engineers and you could space them out onto different projects to get them done either faster or slower, depending on what you wanted done first. But I suppose it's a different way of doing it. Got more soldiers. Don't know what the training is. But we 
shall see. A couple more days go by. Nothing seems to be happening. Laser pistols, done. So I'd be intrigued to see them what they're like in a battle. What's Marvel Base doing? Four days, four days. A lot of sevens. It's not too bad. I might send my rookies over when they're done. But we'll see. Heavy laser, given the power of a laser, it's mostly concentrated by its limitations on the size and weight it is. It's rather unsurprising that vehicle modded and aircraft modded laser weapons pick a far greater punch than the infantry equipment. Well, duh. The laser cannon's destruction will demonstrate this clearly, though in fact, in fact, differently to our existing vehicle cannons. It fulfills a similar role, however the laser bolt in production is even more destructive than the high caliber rounds in replace and can blow many targets and more terrain apart with a single shot. Scaled this design up until it is po possible a credible poses a, cred a credible threat to a UFO and you have a laser lance. This weapon can be fitted to our interceptors as a superior alternative to our existing auto cannons with a lower overall rate of fire but a long range and considering higher damage per shot. Most deadly still as a Gigantion laser, this can be mounted into a ground to air defense battery. These enormous, enormous weapons would draw power directly from the base's generators, allowing them to blast approaching UFOs with a bolt of energy, suffering severely powerful to destroy many small extra, extraterrestrial UFOs out of range. In each case, these weapons operate on the same fundamental principles as their smaller counterparts, cousins, so to say, using a <coughs> nanosecond pulse laser beam to superheat the surface of the target until it is vaporized. They, f they thus share the same strength and weaknesses exactly exact armor destruction but poor armor piercing you can be construction on these productions laser cannons laser auto rifles laser lance and laser battery upgrades oh. Now I'm feeling laser plasma rifles would be a good one to go for. Mainly because we're getting some more power. It'd be nice to just destroy something in one. Or maybe even better pick up their weapons and use them. So I'm going for that. Engineering vehicles. Do I have these? What should I do? What's the difference between cannon lanes and rifle? Oh. Control to compare. I 
Alright. So one does semi kinetic, one does thermal. I don't get how that. Seems to be taking a lot of time for that. We'll do that. We mine rockets as well. I'm not sure if I've got them or not. Oh! Oh, that's vehicles, so that, that they may not even be... That's to do with that. Don't need that. This is what I want. Laser... So I can start doing things and base upgrades. A laser battery upgrade. I don't have any... Uh, defense... Really, I probably should, but nothing's really come and decided to take me on in a minute. Which I suppose is lucky. I mean, they could easily just walk into this base, really. So we've got another. So therefore, our people should be getting trained better. Seems like so, because a lot of the units are in the green now. My god, they're in the green, damn. It's good, a few yellowish moons, but it seems to be improving them, which is good. We call them 80, damn. 88 reaction jesus so this is good does that mean i can get crap people and improve them it means now this base has been done does that mean i need to no aircrafts do i need to build aircrafts Yes. I've got no workers though. That didn't take a lot. Shame I can't just buy them. I should have really thought about that. I didn't really think about having a, a workshop. Kind of messed me up a bit. Should have thought about that. Go over here. So much. Suppose a surgery bay would probably be useful. So, I don't know, workshop would probably be more valuable. I can't really do too much, the living quarters are done anyway, so. Now start building. Are they in Liverpool done? No. So I can't even transfer people over anyway. Let's just carry on. We have a small. Launch interceptors. They're fully healed, so this should be an easy. I say easy, but Jesus. One of them got smashed. Now we have a crashed UFO. I could do bounty, click bounty on this, but obviously for content reasons, I've got to keep these missions going. So next episode, we will be continuing on with this mission. So we close that. I'm Prototype Jim. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.